ever since I got this spigot working by using some shark bites to reconnect the line in the crawl space. I said I was going to clean the mini splits, so I've done all five of them. And then the next thing I said I was going to do was see if I can deal with this algae. And for this, I'm going to try using mold armor. It claims that uh, it'll get rid of it and it should be fairly easy. All I have to do is uh, attach a hose to it. It has an off position, a rinse position, and a clean position. You spray the area, let it sit there for about 10 or so minutes, and then you rinse it off, and if you need to, reapply. Not good for pets, children, or plants. Also not great with metal, so we're gonna stay away from uh, the gas line. Hose line is charged. It's in the off position. If I go over to rinse, you get a fine stream. And then let's see what it looks like when we put it over and clean. And I'm going to start over on the far corner. And it says work from the bottom up. And the reason this is bad for kids and plants is because um, it has leech in it. And those aren't good things. So if you hate your plants, this might be a great way to get rid of them. Oh, it said start from the bottom and work your way up, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get too close to the meter because it is a bleach. It's corrosive with metal. <clears throat> And supposedly, this is good on brick and patios and floors. There's a stronger version of this, which they don't recommend for coarse surfaces. Okay, I feel relieved. Let's turn this off. And we'll wait about 10 minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's been over 10 minutes. I don't know, kind of looks the same to me. I'm gonna uh, rinse. I don't see anything coming off. Let's try switching over, spraying some more of it on there. I'm seeing a little something going on there. All right, we'll wait another 10 minutes and see if it gets any better. So it's been about 15 or so minutes and you come over at the wall and take a look. Most of the green color is gone. Kind of looks like something awful. So I'm gonna just rinse it and then use a, a brush and see if this stuff comes off. And the reason I'm rinsing it is because again, it's a bleach and I'd rather not get that all over me. All right, let's see what happens when we put a brush to this. So of course the question is, would it have done this had I just used the brush alone? And I think the answer is probably no. It actually comes off a lot easier the lower I go. It's like a really bad Gag carpeting. Still a strong odor of bleach, which reminds me this should only be used outdoors 
or in a very well ventilated area because uh, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. So I'm going to go over by the flag and Okay, I'm gonna spray it with this water. Mm. And I'm actually seeing the grout. And this area right there cleaned up really nice. Okay. Yeah. It's making a difference. This is doing what I wanted to do, which is to get rid of this green stuff that's growing there. Well, it's really coming out of the garage. Look at that. So, a very visible improvement over what we started with. It did take two applications and some scrubbing to get it off, but now, of course, the question is, will this come back? And since we live in a very humid, wet area, yeah, probably will. But Hopefully, this will be gone for a while. And if you apply it on a regular basis, it keeps the mold and algae from coming back. In the end, I guess I could recommend this product because it did say that you may need more than one application. And this was a lot of algae. We've been here for many, many years. and it's coming off for the first time. A quick follow-up to our Mold Armor Easy Cleaning on our brick wall, as you recall, this whole area was covered with algae and two and a half weeks later, it looks just as clean as the rest of the area. And just to show you, we do get a lot of moisture and wetness in this part of the country yet the wall looks amazing we can see grout actually that area is much cleaner than this area here which is just dirt but there's no evidence of the mold growing back as a matter of fact you can see some of that old algae the dead algae laying on the ground there so this material works really great and i can recommend it it did take us two applications because there was so much of it it was literally like a shag rug. Uh, I used up half the bottle. It's 64 ounces. So went through about 32 of it, maybe a little bit more. But again, we had to do two applications. There is a stronger version, but you can't use it on this because this is a porous material. For non-porous materials, there's a, one that works in seconds. It's literally quite amazing. You can use it on showers and tubs. But if you have an issue with mold or mildew or algae, this is the product for you. Due to its high bleach content, you need to wear eye protection, gloves, and work in a well-ventilated area. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you so much for watching.